Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. If it's your first time here, consider subscribing. We have a ton of great content that I know you'll enjoy. Today we're going to be talking about the Coleman Trailhead 2 Camp Cot. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Samantha, and this is Lone Crow Adventures. If you're going on an extended car camping trip, or if you're going on a hunting or a fishing trip, you may want to consider bringing a camp cot. It adds a lot of comfortability and really will improve the quality of your sleep. I've been using this system for my extended stays for quite a few years now, and it's something that I really enjoy. This model is the Coleman Trailhead 2 Camp Cot. So let's talk about some specifications on the cot before we put it together. This cot can accommodate individuals up to six foot two inches tall, and it has a weight capacity of 300 pounds, so that's really nice. The sleep surface is 30 inches wide by 75 inches long, and the height once assembled is 17 inches. So that's a real good height to sit and get dressed or put your boots on. And it also has enough clearance underneath that you can put your pack and some gear underneath there and really save room on tent storage that way. Now this is a heavy, heavy piece of equipment. This comes in at 20.9 pounds. So it's not something that you're gonna be wanting doing a portage with or backpacking, that's out of the question. It would be appropriate for base camping or anywhere else where you're gonna be staying stationary. You don't wanna be lugging this around with you. One of the nice things about this is that it does feature a bag, so it's fully self-contained, but that's kind of my first problem. As you notice, and this happened almost immediately, the seam on the bag ripped the first time that I had it out. And it's been ripping progressively ever since. So that's one of the design flaws. We'll get the cot set up. It's easy enough to take it out of the bag, so that's great. And it folds out and it's a very quick and easy setup. go. The cross beams are definitely the most difficult part of the assembly process. It goes through the pocket on the end and getting the first side clipped in is not a problem. The second side is going to be your problem. I've had times where I'm trying to put this together and it is very difficult. You need a tremendous amount of strength to be able to pop it in there. But once it's in, it's nice and sturdy and it's secure. And the nice thing about this cot is that you can use a camp mat on it, but you don't need to. The X design of the frame doesn't actually touch your body at any point while you're laying on it. So it's really, really comfortable. Another reason that I like the camp cot is because, especially in the winter time, if you're putting on boots, it's so much nicer to do so from a seated position. It's great. I absolutely love it. When I use this cot, I typically use it inside of a tent. And one of the things that I was worried about were these hard plastic feet. I was worried that if it got set down on top of a rock or a twig, that it would cause a puncture in the nylon floor of the tent. So I've developed a system to protect against that. So what I do is I use tennis balls and I've just made a little cut right down the center and the foot of the cot can go directly in here, which makes a nice little cup for it to provide some cushioning. And they're very easy to pop on. You just pop them on. And we'll just put the front ones on for demonstration. way it just provides some nice cushioning and safety for your tent. Packing up the cot is pretty easy. Getting that first crossbar beam out is going to be the most difficult. So I like to take these off and set them aside. We'll 
fold it up. Getting this back in the bag can be somewhat of a challenge. I would recommend that you take the tennis balls off of the feet because that adds a little bit extra bulk. I don't, I just kind of fight with it because I don't want to lose the tennis balls. But even without the tennis balls on it, it can be difficult to fit back into that compression sack. Now, on other cots that I've had in the past, they've had kind of a built-in compression strap that wraps around. And I wish this was a feature that Coleman would have integrated because it can be really cumbersome trying to get this back in the stuff sack with all this canvas laying around. And the stuff sack itself, as I mentioned in the earlier part of the video, is um, not the most sturdy because of that seam. So you just it, have to shove it in there. And once you get it about a third of the way in, then you can really stand it up and help have gravity help you out. And don't forget to put the cross beams back in when you're done. And there we go. It's all packed up and ready for the next adventure. The Coleman Trailhead 2 Camp Cot has been a pretty good cot to me. It is relatively inexpensive and you can pick it up for around $35, which is nice. Now, if I had to give this a rating on a scale from one to five, I would only give this 3.5 out of five stars. There's two reasons for that. First, the bag failed me on the very first trip out and the seams have been ripping more and more every single time I pack it up. The second and the biggest reason is the difficult assembly. Getting that fourth locked position of that cross beam can be very difficult, especially if you're using it in the cold. The colder that it gets, the more the metal reacts to the cold and the tighter the fit becomes. So I've had situations where I've been camping with this in the teens and found this system almost impossible to put together. And for that reason, it gets 3.5 out of five stars. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you found it informative. If you want some more information on the Coleman Trailhead 2 Camp Cot, check the links below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified next time I put out a video. Now get out there and sleep outside.